Hello guys, good day. Welcome back to my channel. And today I will show you and introduce to you the lifting calculation method uh, using the Excel application or formula spreadsheet, a spreadsheet. So in the general specification, we have the concrete strength at the mold, then at the side. We have a symbol. Then of course, magkaiba yung strength niya. Kapag demolding pa lang, sabi sabihin, uh, going pa lang yung curing ng, ng concrete mo. Although sabi natin may curing na siya, tapos yung curing niya after 7 days, pero yung strength mo is nag-develop pa yan until sa time na ma-meet niya yung maximum capacity. In the weight of the element, let's say yung uh, structure elements mo, so let's say it's beam or slab, 70 kN. In the mold area, ito yung kung saan mayroong mold, yun ang total uh, surface area niya. Cable angle factor at the mold, so at 30 degrees, yung Z1 natin is 1.04. So, depende yan sa angle of inclination ng uh, lifting natin. Then it the mold, then of course the factor, angle factor in the side is 1.16. So magkaiba yan. Pwede rin magkaparehas, depende sa situation. The lifting load coefficient at the mold, so sa demolding natin is 1.3, then on the side is 1.5. Former adhesion factor, so depende din yan. Next time, i ano natin, i breakdown kung paano yan na-obtain. Okay, for the meantime, let's say, 1. Then, anchor number for the mold. Then, anchor number for transport on site or the installation. So let's say, apat uh, na lifting location siya. Then, increase natin yung weight into 100. Okay. Then, in the right side, we have lifting force per anchor. Per anchor siya. So, in the factory, ito yung formula niya para mako yung HA. Then, ito yung force niya at the factory per anchor. So, 38.87 kN yung uh, requirement. Then, ito naman at side is 58. Then, of course, the maximum of these forces, yun ang magagavern. So, ibig sabihin, 58 kN or 5.8 tons per uh, anchor ang kailangan natin. So, using the deformed reinforcement, or kahit uh, anong capacity ng, or anong type ng reinforcement ninyo yung gagamitin. Yan. Uh, let's use diameter of the bar or the lifting hook is 16 mm. Number piece per anchor, let's say, isa lang. Then, strength natin, tensile strength is 420 mega Then, factor of safety is 4. Ibig sabihin yan, 1 over 4 is 25% lang capacity ng gagamitin natin. Although sa ECI, I kapag tension siya is 0.75. So, ito mas conservative doon kasi 25% lang yung gagamitin natin. Then, of course, uh, para sa area of the bar natin, so, 402, bakit 402? It should be 200 plus lang kasi 16, di ba? Kasi, uh, assuming, ito. So, dalawang ano siya? Dalawang uh, area ng tension natin. Kaya nag-times na tayo dito. Two legs. So, ito yung formula. So, pumapatak lang siya ng 42.22 kN or 4.22 tons yung every anchor. So, not safe siya. Yung ratio natin is 1.37. So, not safe siya. So, pwede natin increase pag mag-add tayo per anchor. So, dalawa. Ibig sabihin, kaya niya. Kaya nang i-carry yung weight na 100 kN sa apat na lifting ito let's say 4 okay apat na lifting mapedyo pala na kasi naka apat na lifting ah. not say pa rin so dalawa or isang option din one lang to then we need to increase the diameter ayan safe na siya so for example uh, dalawang ang coverage lang yung ano natin ilagay. So, not safe siya. So, we need to increase the diameter of the lifting hook natin or 
increase the number of anchor I mean uh, lifting hook per anchor yun lang yun lang para mag-calculate ng lifting hook natin so the, for this example or for this tutorial is using the deformed bars only so pwede ko gumamit ng mga ano, yung mga buckle yun yan so depende na sa inyo yun lang guys thank you uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share sa YouTube natin and sa mga videos na, na upload natin. Also support my FB page and TikTok. Thank you and God bless.